It seems that in your case, with SII and no, no Vavax, uh, you are taking your time and waiting until all the documents, all the testings are done, and then you're coming in. Yeah. Uh, 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 ang, ang, ko, ang Novavax, the Novavax finished the interim results of the phase three trial, no? Mm -hmm. uh, and we released the results. But it doesn't mean that the phase three is, has ended. It still is ongoing mm -hmm. until January of 2022. Mm -hmm. And um, the U.S. trial, the phase three is uh, still ongoing and it will fi finish as well next year. However, just like the other vaccines, then it's really like that, no? no that the phase three trial will still be continuing. However, uh, the interim results could be accepted as well, no? For mm -hmm. an emergency use authorization for as long as your data, you have a number, acceptable number of clinical trial participants. And with 15,000 clinical trial participants in UK, we were able to generate very good data no, and efficacy. And what is more also important is that the vaccine of Novavax is the first vaccine to have very good data on efficacy against the variants. Eh, ito bang ano, ito bang sa inyong sa Covovax eh, uh, ano bang labanan dito? Yeah, unang-una kasi uh, the predominant virus, uh, it's still the wild type, no? Mm. Uh, kung bagay yung original na SARS-CoV-2 pa rin ang predominant here in the Philippines, no? Mm. So doon sa pag-aaral, 95.6% ang kanyang efficacy no, ng Covovax uh, vaccine of Novavax against the original SARS-CoV virus strains. Mm. Okay. Okay, uh -uh. okay 95.6%. Mm. Nung, nung tinignan sa United Kingdom strains, yung UK strains, no, yung, or UK variants, I mean, UK mm. variants, 86% po ang kanyang efficacy. So it's still high. So mm. kaya nagkaroon, kung makikita nyo po sa mga news, 89.3% ang efficacy. Kasi yun po yung overall, mm. both for the UK and the original uh, SARS-CoV-2. Assuming you get all your trials done, you get clearance from FDA, uh, any safe forecast? <laughs> forecast na lang kasi yes, ang hirap yes, eh. Okay. Kasi po ang Serum Institute would not commit to anything that uh, when it's not able to deliver. Mm. So with the term sheet, with the government, you know, uh, talking with Serum Institute, the government, of course, through the vaccine czar, Secretary Galvez, Serum Institute is committed to deliver the vaccine by the third quarter of 2021. And uh, we are hoping, because we're working already on the EUA. We've started talking with the FDA, you know, consult mm. them, and also with the Health Technology Assessment Committee. Uh, they have they are guiding us as well on how to proceed. So if we will be able to get the emergency use authorization from UK or e uh, even from Canada, that would really uh, help facilitate in the issuance of the EUA by the Philippine FDA. So we're hoping, we're hoping na early part of the third quarter, uh, Novavax vaccine or the Covavax will be available. Uh, the concern of some people that once it is uh, passed on to private distribution chains, there is a risk that vaccine prices will go sky high. But what I understand is there is a base price. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, that will not be very far from the national government uh, pricing. Also, as far as Faberco, our product is concerned, no? as far as Serum Institute, I I'll just be talking about uh, Covovax. Hindi rin po masyadong magkakalayo ang presyo ng national government at local government units.